Now, Rwanda, in collaboration with the Korea International Cooperation Agency, has uh, inaugurated an ICT innovation center designed to support the development of audiovisual sectors by building the capacities of job seekers and uh, startups. CNBC Africa Stephen Mvunyi was on the ground and brings us this report. The governments of Rwanda and South Korea jointly embarked on an ICT innovation capacity building project with the aim to build capacity in the ICT sector. A result of that is a state-of-the-art ICT innovation center that has been launched in Kigali. So this is, has been really a milestone, a major milestone, not only for RDB but for the country as a whole. It has been um, a partnership with Koika and it comes as an ecosystem to the different innovation hubs that we have here in the country and it's an ecosystem of ICT so we're really looking at future skills and trying to create the right skills for the potential young Rwandan talent that we have out there. And how it's important is in the fact that we give them a facility like this one where they can be able to develop their skills but also bring in their ideas and make it eventually a product such as um, different startups and um, opportunities for job creation as well. Your government uh, is planning to uh, uh, trend it so agro-based society to knowledge-based society. So in align with your government policy, we are going to provide this kind of the innovation center. Uh, that then as the, uh, your country will be one of the uh, best uh, country in IT sector uh, because you have the great potential, uh, especially uh, thanks to your government uh, transparency and, and there's no corruption and then doing business uh, uh, index is very high. And that's why we're going to support your government uh, policy and strategy, especially on knowledge-based uh, economy and especially in 21st century, um, ICT sector is the key role um, and without ICT, uh, we cannot uh, live. Up to $5.6 million was invested in this center that will specifically be providing training in multimedia and mobile application. It's also expected to foster job creation in the ICT sector. What the center that has been inaugurated today presents, uh, it presents a platform uh, for audiovisual investors that are looking for talent um, along the different parts of the audiovisual value chain, whether it's pre-production, production and post-production, and dealing with um, from the very basic like mobile gaming, uh, whether it's uh, scripting, uh, animation, 3D modeling, and state-of-the-art uh, studio, sound and video studio that really is going to equip uh, the students that are going to be trained here, but also the startups that are going to be, uh, that are being incubated uh, here. We already, uh, the center has already recruited uh, 40 uh, startups within that, uh, within the audiovisual uh, sector, uh, as well as, uh, as well as digital tourism. So for the audience that is out there, uh, some of them are wondering uh, where should I set up my business? Um, I'm interested in capitalizing, uh, for example, on the esports industry that is uh, fast growing and fast developing on the continent as well. Uh, so, what they, the comfort they can take is that they can come to Rwanda, and there will be there is a platform already uh, for facilitating them and getting. Uh, the talent that they need, but also partnerships uh, with the various startups or local companies that are venturing or that have already uh, opened gates uh, into the, uh, the audiovisual industry. It's very interesting to see such facilities come into place, but according to statistics, uh, the survival rate of ICT startups is very low. Most of them fail, not because they lack technical skills, but because they don't have other skills that would make them successful. So how should that one be addressed? Um, so a uh, very good question. Um, we have handled that uh, in two ways. First, the center covers 
a training component, but also we have an incubation component. So the incubation component that will incubate startups uh, for, from between six months to nine months, and the incubation facility will provide them not just an office space, but also the other extra skills that you've talked about, uh, the business skills, the business modeling skills, the financial modeling uh, skills, as well as legal advisory, branding, and so forth. What can be done, I believe, is support from all angles, support from public sector, but also from private sector, believing in the potential that our youth have, in the future skills that our youth have, if they have the right support, if they're given the right opportunities, if they're given chances like this facility, then definitely we will succeed in startups. We will succeed in, I think, the lifespan of a successful startup. This modern TV and film studio is just one of the components of the center. According to experts, the future is audiovisual and therefore the industry is worth promoting. Audiovisual industry is the future of uh, the world. Basically, if you look at the biggest income of, let's say, like the United States, it's Hollywood, mainly because they produce a movie, they invest in a movie like 50 million U uh, USD, and in return, they get all times that or triple that. So if we can get the chance of being sponsored, like we did right now, the center, as you've seen it, it is good, it has the facilities, we can be able to teach students, people out there, those who are in the field and those who are not, who are starting to enter the field, to be able to produce that quality work which will be on the level of Hollywood. You get it? Mm -hmm. So I would say it's a good investment. I've been in the industry quite for some time, but as a company, as Gaze Show, we are six years now. Uh, pretty much all those years has been really actually self-training. So as actually, you know, the reason of this center being set up is to help us really provide us with talent or you know equipping uh, young Rwandans with the skill sets that are needed in this industry. So for our company, we we actually did it uh, organically, you know, self-taught on the internet, you know, pretty much the entire team. No one has any formal training in this industry, so this center will really actually you know bridge that gap, uh, shorten the learning curve in terms of uh, this. The center is deemed a big boost to the country's ambitious goal of becoming a knowledge-based economy. For trainees, the center offers a great opportunity to sharpen their digital skills. This is a place we found which will make our dreams come true because this is the place where we found the commodities that we will need to implement the projects, like computers, like the time and a comfortable place to work at. Uh, what made me like joining this uh, training center, uh, I'm, um, I was like somehow curious, you know. I just want to like uh, to push myself uh, beyond the, the, the remit. So whenever there's uh, this kind of uh, opportunity for training or like running more things, uh, as we know, in this world we always run things. So I was like joining here. Uh, it was another opportunity for me for getting another knowledge, uh, you know, adding to, 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 uh, to the other skills that I had.